Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Herman Manyora has come out to disregard if in any case Raila Odinga is going to have handshake with the president of the day, William Ruto. I have a video here where Herman Manyora has come out while in a certain interview today at NTV uh, TV and he has come out categorically explaining for us the reason why Raila Amolo Odinga this time round should not accept any kind of handshake because handshake is going to have its repercussions and repercussions might not be good on the side of Raila Amolo Odinga and again he has come out to display on how there is a possibility of the political death and political suicide of Raila Amolo Odinga accepting another handshake with the president of the day. I want you to watch that video. But before you watch, if you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel and you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, thank you so much. Please consider liking this video. Now, this is the video that Haman Manyora is, is explaining for us. And the Supreme Court didn't deliver a just uh, judgment. Then all of a sudden, boom, they turn. That is rather surprising. So if you ask me, my take is simple. I like, I rarely do things black and white, but I must be allowed this time. <laughs> It's either uh -huh. that uh, these people are playing games and tricks with the president. Uh -huh. In other words, we, we make you think we are good so that next time we attack, you are either defenseless, unprepared, or that even the international community and right-thinking Kenyans can say, well, these people are not bad people. They are not saying this because they hate the president. They are saying this because... It is good to say so, that the country is not going in the right direction, okay? Because they have prepared the ground. But the other possibility is that these guys have been compromised. Because you cannot move from a position of such a great opposition as to state categorically that this election was stolen, that I am the one who won this election. You can't state that categorically. And then... You move the next day to embrace the same guy who says, told you a victim. What do you want your followers to believe? What do you want your followers to believe? And therefore, sometimes I advise politicians. Raila went into uh, partnership with Moy, NDP, those days there. And you could see it was a strategic move. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is why he got as high as he got into politics. In 2007, he went into the handshake with the Kibaki because the country was burning. And the country, as we know it, was going to disappear. So that is understandable. In 2017, again, the country was all torn into two. Mm. You could see clearly as a statesman, there was a great reason for him to shake hands with Uhuru. Those who, who think the handshake is nothing, I look at them and wonder, even if they are leaders today, would, which country would they be leading today if that handshake didn't take place? So they should appreciate that handshake. And you can understand and appreciate. People were so mad. People are so annoyed that Raila went into that handshake. But there was justification. However, should he do one now? Directly or indirectly? I can advise Raila Odinga. He will when it comes to the interview of Haman Manyora at NTV, I want to say this. I've learned two things about the speech of Manyora. Number one, Raila Amolo Odinga must not again accept any kind of handshake with the government of the day. Because this is just a strategic plan that the government and current government have realized that in any case they're going to have any kind of handshake with the opposition, then they're going to kill opposition once and for all. Number two, Haman Manyora has come out to say that maybe 
the reception in Nyanza region did not entails that there is a possibility of handshake between Raila Odinga and William Ruto. But it is like something that it is a strategic plan towards Raila Amolo Odinga's team. As we speak now, the space and the strategy and plan that Raila Odinga made towards William Ruto's visit in Nyanza region now has enabled him to start new strategic plan on how he's going to outwit this government. In any case, this is his plan of endorsing someone or vying for presidency in 2027. Another thing is, I want you to understand that that visit and welcoming ceremony from Nyanza has now made Uhuru's brigade from Mount Kenya region to regroup. They are regrouping themselves. They are regrouping themselves. They are having momentum towards whatever is likely being planned between Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta, Kalonzo Msioka. And that is why most of the time they are quiet, completely quiet. They are not talking about anything. They are completely quiet. That is whatever is happening. Another thing is that, ladies and gentlemen, Raila Odinga and his team they don't want, they don't want these West countries or these um, countries that are supporting the government of the day to come out to say that the opposition interferes, interfered with the operation of the current government. And that is the reason why they did not deliver. So I support Haman Manyora 100% sure. That if Uraila Odinga wants to have a political suicide, let him accept another handshake. Because one, you must realize that in the year 2018, the month of March, where Uraila Odinga had handshake with Uhuru Kenyatta, people were really disappointed and they were mad on Uraila Odinga. And again, Uraila Odinga managed to bring them back on board when it comes to the election and the momentum and the spirit was high and they were hiked up. But if any case, Raila Odinga again wants to disappoint them, which according to me, I believe 100% sure, Raila Odinga is a politician that learns mystic. And I believe this time round is doing it differently because you cannot have same same strategic plan to have different result. You must have different strategic plan so that you can have different result. And that is whatever Railu Udinga, Kelonzo Msoka, Uhuru Kenyatta, and other brigades in Azimio are doing. I have seen a celebration in Kenya Kwanzaa lives. That oh, we were welcomed in Nyanza very well, or oh, we were welcomed in Mount Kenya very well, we were welcomed in Western very well. It is a strategic plan. The things that is going to bomb up in the next election, you won't believe this because this opposition does not want to interfere with any kind of operation of the government of the day. And that is why they're so keen and so loyal in a way that it seems like people are predicting there's a possibility um, working relationship between Raila Odinga and William Ruto or maybe there may be a handshake between Raila Odinga and William Ruto. Another thing that you must understand and you must learn about the Raila Odinga's thing is that William Ruto is believing that he is uni uniting Kenyans, which according to my opinion, it is not something that is possible. William Ruto will not. When you look, people are just welcoming him. It doesn't mean that he is 100% sure and there is assurance that there is a possibility of him now uniting, of course, Kenyans. There is no possibility. Whatever Kenyans are doing is that they are tired with the politics of the day. The election was uh, concluded and they must move on with their daily activities. They must work. So they are waiting the regrouping of the next election. And which, according to me, William Ruto might be disappointed terribly because he is expecting the welcoming ceremony that was in Nyanza, the welcoming ceremony that was experienced in Western, 
the welcoming ceremony that is being experienced in Mount Kenya region, in Koto region, in Ukambani, he believed that 100% sure he has conquered Raila Amolo Odinga with his team. I want to tell you, William Ruto must be very careful with this so-called Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Amolo Odinga has been in the politics for a long period of time, even since we were born. And this is a man that understands his footsteps. And I want to tell you, just wait, time is going to tell. And William Ruto might not believe because he's celebrating that things is okay. Things are not okay. Imagine Nyanza region, they were enemy of the president, William Ruto. Then at just a sudden, then they are rolling you a red carpet. Then William Ruto is clapping and happy. Time is going to tell and I want to tell you, things might not be on the right path for William Samuel Ruto. Really, ladies and gentlemen, what are thoughts? Do you support the submission of Haman Manyora? That number one, Raila Molo Dinga must not accept the handshake. Number two, Raila Dinga's uh, backyard, welcoming William Ruto, happily and celebrating, it is a strategical plan, then drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And something that is most important, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.